everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's Soul Mask video, I'm going to be explaining everything you need to know to prepare and to fight the Griffin in the plateau area. So first thing is where this is located. You're going to see it is directly north of the desert portal. However, since there's a bunch of cliffs here, I should have revealed this part of the map, but I didn't. You just go this way, follow this path. And right here, there's a ramp up, so just go east and then north from there. That's how you're going to get to the Ancient Pyramid. In comparison to the rest of the map, this is where it's located. You can see it's northeast of the um, Sabertooth one. Or sorry, northwest and way northeast of the Ape. And then this is way down here. So we're way up at the top right corner of the map for this. Now, in order to summon this boss, these are the things you're going to need. The first one, you need to be Awareness Strength 45. That's pretty up there. This is a late game boss, which means that preparation, you're going to want at least high level iron armor, if not steel armor. So I'm coming into this with iron saber tooth armor with some mods on it. You can see they're all legendary. I've got 2,800 health right now. It'll go up a little when I eat some food in a sec. But these are the things you're going to need. You're going to need seafood quinoa rice, which I'll show you right here. If you type it in here, it'll pop up. This is crafted in the worktop, not in the cooking pot. So make sure you have that. You just need water, which is found anywhere. A bowl, same thing. Refined salt, you can find all over the place. Or you can just make it. Um, fish, just go fishing, kill a couple piranhas. And quinoa can also be either farmed or found in a bunch of chests. Uh, specifically in, I found it mostly in this region down here is where I've been finding my quinoa. Uh, next thing is excitant. Now excitant is going to be crafted in the brewing stand level two. And you need dried tobacco, which you make on the drying rack, cocoa powder, you know, you grind up some cocoa, cactus essence, and acidic fluid. Now, if you don't know how to make cactus essence, it's going to be right here. Cactus juice and cactus flowers. Cactuses are all over the desert. Super easy to get this. And then simply premium fresh meat. Kill a bunch. So many enemies give you this. And then a worship container. So that's what you're going to need for this griffin fight. And you're going to want to come prepared with plenty of heals. Some good food. For me, I have smoked ham, I've got fried pumpkin ring, mixed jam, tortillas, I've got coagulation cream, I should have made more, a couple blood activating creams, and a bunch of bandages. You're going to want a good bow, I've got an iron great bow, and a lot of arrows, because he flies, so you're going to want that. So now we're going to hop into the actual exciting part of this video, so we'll eat some of our food here. Let's see, da, da, da. we're going to want mixed jam here, some fruit wine, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this fight. Now this is actually my first time doing this fight, so we're going to see how this goes. There it is right there. Okay, you can see this thing actually has a good amount of health because I just hit it for 1,700, 2,800 that time. Okay, what is this attack? That's an interesting one. Makes a tornado. So it looks like that one's pretty simple. You just dodge it. And watch for when he lands, because that's when it's going to be ideal to... I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, crap. He's going to throw me off the edge. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Okay, he almost threw me up. He one-hit me. Okay, good to know. Okay, so if the griffin comes at you like that, make sure you dodge because I just got absolutely one-shotted with over 2,000 health. Now to heal, I like to do this because now I have to heal a lot less. So we're just going to pop one of these bandages. 
let ourselves get back up and we'll put it on and then actually fully heal here and then we'll go at it once more now that I kind of have a feel for it if this video ends up going too long I'll go ahead and I'll cut it for you guys I'm not gonna make you sit here for a super ridiculously long fight so we'll use one of these and we're gonna use one of these I want to save my coagulation creams for the actual thing Oh, I forgot it. my tortilla for extra defense as well. Okay, getting my health back up, and we'll hop into this one more time and try this for you guys. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a new one. Okay, so yeah, you can easily dodge that one if you're paying enough attention. You gotta be really quick on your toes for this fight. If you're gonna shoot arrows, you gotta shoot them ahead of him. It's hard to see when he's actually launching that attack. This looks new. Oh, he stopped. I can't get a shot off on this guy. This one's a slow one. This is a good time to get a shot off on him. Now, I know he has a move where he is going to turn that dust into, like, a poison gas thing. So watch out for that when you're fighting him. Wow, that's new. Okay, so this boss fight is definitely an annoying one. So then now he turns that into gas. Wow, why is this not firing? So when he starts to shoot the little projectiles, you're going to want to make sure that you dodge twice because he's going to shoot two rounds. Ooh, that was a good one. I shot him out of the sky. Oh, yes. This is where you're going to go and you're going to hit him good. Okay. 
So now I've kind of got a little bit of a pattern going. Ooh, got me a few times. That means he's lighting that other thing on gas. Okay, we're doing good. Yeah, you're gonna want to watch out for those. Those things sting a little bit. Oh, he got me again with them. We're gonna use this, because we do have him low. missed. Ooh. Okay, that stung a little. So So it seems like for the most part after a lot of his attacks, he's got a brief period where you can heal. So just make sure you're paying attention to that. There we go. All right, guys. So that's how you're gonna kill it. So a few things to keep in mind with that. Um, my mistake in the beginning was I had no idea what I was doing going into it because this was my first time. But you're gonna wanna watch out for the one where he shoots rapidly. Make sure you're dodging twice because he's gonna shoot two volleys. Towards the end, he might shoot three. So be aware of that. Anytime he pauses, that's when he's going to do an attack. When he starts to do the glowing one, he's going to shoot down this mist of gas. Or sorry, when he does the, like the ball, that's going to turn into this mist of gas you see right there. When he does the, when he starts glowing, that's when he lights this into a gas zone where you will take massive gas damage if you go in there. And then be really careful when he dive bombs you because that can easily get you killed. You saw he took me down from almost full health in just about one hit with that so make sure you're keeping an eye on that but it's very doable with iron stuff i mean i just did it on, that was my first try um this is what he gives you he gives you par paralysis mod 3 which is pretty cool um the key to get in here some of his stuff now the armor set that you can get for taking the second level of the griffin is going to give you this which the set's going to give you radiation proof 50% and body radiation minus 3 per minute in addition to some more bonuses down at the bottom. Now that one you do have to kill the second level of the griffin, which I'll show you what you need to summon it. But be careful, second levels are de generally much harder. So same things except you're going to need rare fresh meat and two worship containers and five excitants instead of two. But you need to be awareness 50 so for that one I would recommend steel just because it's pretty much telling you you need to be that level to do it now we're gonna go ahead and get in here when you kill him what you get right here uh, when in the place I'm about to go to is data update 4 this is going to allow you to increase your level cap by 5 this is one if you hit O, you see I'm level 40 max out it will now go to 45 and if you're playing as a tribesman that will go to 55 and when you kill the mammoth, that'll give you another 5, so you can go to 50 and 60 instead of 45 and 55. But that's what that does. And we'll go ahead and uh, get that going right here. You can get some green crystals in here. Um, but we'll see how many blue crystals and if it actually gives us some in here. So it looks like it follows the pattern of just giving us straight green crystals here as well as this little orb thingy here. Yep. So we're gonna head up here and we're gonna actually activate this for you guys. Now you can see it does require three blue crystals so make sure you bring those with you. Um, okay, I'm in severe cold so I'm just gonna bandage while I do this. So we're gonna go ahead and do this.
So now we've got this, you can see now I should be able to get this up to 45 because I just got this repaired. And we've also got this here that you can do. Radiation resist 10, perception plus 5. And then the next one is going to give you an additional max HP plus 100 and attack plus 10, but that requires some mysterious magnets, which I'm guessing is going to be in a, the next Holy Runes. But that right there is everything you need to know for the Griffin fight. Make sure you have a bow and plenty of arrows. I like to use the dual blades for the bleed effect, especially when he takes off. Make sure you're watching out for those attacks and come prepared with plenty of heals. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe and I will keep making more content for you guys.